What is your full name? Clifford William Trott. When and where were you born? 16th of March 1940 in Bedminster, Mansfield Street. <laughs> How long have you owned or run the garage? I've run this garage since in this position since 1968. Sorry. 78. 1978. 78. Did you open the garage? Or no, no, it was a garage. It's been, it was a cow shed on the common originally. Oh, that's my next question. Do you know anything about the history of the building? <laughs> <laughs> well, it, it, yeah, it was a, a I'm told, uh, a cow shed on the common and it was, it fell down in the 1950s and was rebuilt then. Um, the technically, I'm the only building allowed to have an entrance onto the common. All the gates that you see on the houses are illegal. <laughs> um, but being a cow shed, we had to have access to the common. Um, that's, oh, wow. that's as it was, mm -hmm. and it fell down. <laughs> That building you can still see is still attached to the house next door. Okay. People have made this into either 10A or 8A, but it's nothing to do with either. It is the cow shed in between the two, or was. And as you say, they, it fell down and they rebuilt it in the 50s as far as we can work out. And in the 50s, that's when it became. No, a it, it was a garage even before that, before because that. these are the people working in the garage. When it fell down? It was a paint shop originally. Oh. Um, but how far back that goes, I, I do not know. What was Hawfield like when you started working here in the 1970s? Um, very similar. I, I don't see that much of a change. Um, more, more cars parking of an evening than used to, but that's understandable, every house has got a car, so... And we've got houses that are let, so you have, uh, say, maybe three cars in one house. But, uh, no, I don't see any change at all. I see the same sort of people going past, and if I speak to them, they'll speak to me. So it's very much the same. So, what's the community like, then, in Hawfield? Communities are made by the people in it. And so if they speak to one another, it's a community. If they don't, it's passing in the storm, if you like. Oh, ships passing in the night. We, I've, I've, I had my 70th birthday in the Ardaf. And all I did was stick a notice on the door that I was having a party. I didn't want any presents. But there would be a, a box for donations and, uh, it was open to anybody who, you know, and the people I spoke to daily as they walked past with their dogs or whatever. And I spent all day from 12 o'clock to 8 o'clock at night dealing with people who've come to see me and signing the book and all sorts of things. And uh, at the end of the day, I said that any money that was in the box could be shared between Friends of Orfield Common and the Ardaf Club, and they received... Seven hundred pounds between them, oh, that's and you know it, that's the sort of community it is because they weren't all customers of my garage; they were people I speak to as they go past, and all day long it was a day like today, living miserable, and the somebody told me because I was inside all day that it was like an ant hill, that the people coming in and going out and coming in and going out from all directions. So, and raising that much money, it must have been a lot of people. I couldn't tell you how many, but quite a few. But that's the sort of community it is. So it's quite a close yeah. community. We're not in one another's houses, but we, you know, if they've got something, they'll come in and ask if I can get done, or, or you know, not necessarily anything to do with cars. It can be bits of push bike or things like that. Mm -hmm. so, yeah. What was the common like when you first started working here? And how has it changed? To be honest, it, to me, I don't see any change in the common. 
I suppose it's because it's I see it every single day. Um, they've put in a new path. I think I think that path has arrived since I was here. Um, and the, the the old building on the, has been knocked down and rebuilt. Um, the yard half, as far as I can remember, is still the same. Uh, <laughs> no, I don't see much in the way of changes to the common itself. Do you remember any major events or celebrations that have happened on the common? This little enclave of ours here is three roads, the St Leonard's, Hewenden and Rosal. We closed it down and had a party for Prince Charles getting married, uh, but it wasn't on the common. Um, in fact, I can't think of anything that, to be honest, it was held on the common. Not, you know, not locally anyway. We've had part when he got married, we've, and some, some other one. Oh, the Queen's Jubilee, I think it was '77. That was the first. So yeah, we we you know, we closed the streets down and. And had it, and we had a big street party for the kids and whatnot, but uh, not, can't think of anything on the common. Technically, I, I don't think you can have anything on the common. I think you've got to have permission from the council to do anything on the common, as far as I know. Do you have any, any stories of anything that's happened? Um, on the common or around the common or in, in Hallfield or anything related to the community that you want to share? When they put the blue plaque up, or for Cary Grant just up the road here, mm -hmm. um, uh, when he died I saw a little old lady walking down the road with tears running down her face and it turned out that she'd gone up and left a rose on the door of Cary Grant's house like where he was born apparently he was born in that house and stayed there for six whole weeks um, and people when he first died we had lots of taxis from Bath with foreign visitors Italians and Americans and it, but it seems to have gone very quiet now um, so that's one thing that happened, you know, they, when they came and put the plaque up and TV and all sorts of Lord Mayor, I think it was, was there and when they unveiled the plaque. But uh, that's about the only thing I can remember. Big time because we had to close the road then to get the Lord Mayor's car in and whatnot. So, uh, yeah. Was it what appeared to be a bandstand up on the common at one time up on the edge of Kellaway Avenue? Kellaway Road, Kellaway Avenue, isn't it? Kelly, just up the top there, a, a form of bandstand. I don't know, it may have been a bus shelter, but it's vague. It was a big squarish building. That disappeared and uh, nothing reappeared. We had troubles when Tesco's or whoever they are up there arrived. We had. Uh, people in the trees, stopping them from cut, chopping down the trees and things like that and it was a bit a bit hairy for five minutes but that was, you know. When they put Kellaway Avenue in down towards the Gloucester Road, mm -hmm. um, someone told me that when they were doing it they found a, a grave and it was a war grave from when the Danes were over here, you know, way back. And the man in in charge to, to, of the all the soldiers were laid out, and he was at the head. And it, they tell me that he was about seven or two eight feet tall. I don't know if you can find that in any of the archives, because I've I've heard it so many times, but nobody's ever found it. And mm -hmm. it's, it's not my forte to go and play with uh, computers and the like. Yeah. Uh, but if that would be interesting to find out because that was actually on the common when they put the Kellaway Avenue road in to beyond the church. Mm -hmm. uh, that was in, I'd like to know about that, uh, I think it was in th the early 30s, I think.